shines on a world where perfect gladness reigns. With harmonies on every breeze, where every creature aims to give eternal life away, though none of them could die. By serving, loving, laying down, and thus learning to fly. Hello friends, welcome back to our kitchen. So today we are making some tasty, crunchy coconut cookies. Of course, they're plant-based and they're sweet. My friends, those with a sweet tooth, here we are going to the ingredients. They're very simple, only five of them and one optional one. Here we have coconut milk, so you can use soy milk. Here we have desiccated coconut or the shredded coconut. You can use silvered almonds instead or even a mixture of grounded uh, nuts. Here we have jaggery. Uh, you can use stevia. You can use honey, but you'll have to adjust the measurements. Here we have whole oatmeal flour. Yeah, here we have cooking oil. You can use olive oil, you can use canola oil. If you want a neutral tasting oil, you can even use coconut oil. If you don't mind the taste of coconut. Yeah. Mm. And lastly, we have two optional ingredients. Here I have cardamom and Himalayan salt. So those are our only ingredients. We'll need a small sulfuria. And a spatula and of course a bowl where we're going to mix our ingredients yeah so we'll proceed to mixing here is our bowl we'll add our flour remember you can use whole wheat flour if you would like to have it gluten free um here i'm adding my desiccated coconut remember i said you can use silvered almonds instead shredded almonds you can even use ground nuts a mixture of nuts, ground uh, peanuts, the, the grounded ground nuts, the almonds, the cashew nuts, and then you grind them into into coarse texture like that of uh, the desiccated coconut. So I've made a well in the middle, and I'm adding my oil. Yeah. So after adding my oil, I'll mix uh, lightly. I'll begin with my spatula and then proceed with my hand so that I ensure there are no lumps that are formed because of the oil mixing together with the flour and the desiccated coconut. So remember I'm one-handed, so I had to go and mix first. So after mixing, I remembered I had not put my cardamom and my salt. So I'm adding them right now and then again mixing so I'll put that aside and I'll begin with my wet ingredients. So inside this small pan, I'll add my coconut milk. Very thick and white and creamy. Yeah, uh, um, you can use soy milk, you can use almond milk. Um, Here I'm adding my jaggery. We would like to stir this and allow it to melt in very low heat for a very short time until it dissolves. So remember all this I made at home. I'll go give a link in the description of how I made my coconut milk, of how um, I, I just shredded my, my, um, my jaggery. It's very easy, by the way. Yeah, so I've, I stirred like this for less than three minutes. It was a very short time because you see, the heat is um, increases the melting point, so causes the jaggery to melt quickly. So, I will say roughly three minutes. It shouldn't go beyond three minutes, unless it's a very big lump. And this is how it's looking. I'll switch off the fire. And allow it to cool before I mix it with the rest of the dough. So that is why you're calling it coconut cookies. It's all coconuts. 
if I had coconut oil nearby, trust me, that is what I would have used. I have no problem with coconut. To my lovely friends who are not friends with coconut, uh, you have alternatives. Neutral testing oils, soy milk, almond milk, yeah. So here we have cooled already for like five minutes. So we are adding to our dough. Yeah. It will give you a very watery dough after mixing. So you have the choice of adding flour, but we don't want a dough that is looking like that of chapati that is already dry and compact. We want that is slightly wet and falling, slightly uh, remaining on your hands. Yeah, I added another a quarter of a cup of the oat flour. Just a little um, to keep it in shape. Yeah, so as you can see, it is not so compact. Remember, this is oat, so it absorbs a, a lot of the liquid. I continue adding. Yeah, that is the flour. Apparently, I did not add all of it. I think I did like two tablespoons. So I will make shapes of cookies from this. I would like to tell you that they are not too hard. They are still soft and sticking to the bowl. So I'll put this to the oven, a preheated oven of 180 degrees Celsius for 30 to 35 minutes. This depends on, this is how they're looking afterwards. You want them out when at least they're turning brown. Not burnt, but brown. They're very crunchy. Um, we want to taste them a bit and in a moment you'll get to hear how they're tasting. Rather, you'll get to <laughs> listen to me as I eat it. Yeah, how crunchy it is. You want such a beautiful crunchy texture of the cookies. Yeah, remember when you eat this, eat this to the glory of God. Remember to be a channel of light wherever you are. The Lord is depending on you. If we wish to see more plant-based recipes, just check on uh, my YouTube channel. There are other our YouTube channel. There are other recipes. Yeah, plant-based. These are other cookies. The same procedure, the same amounts, but now I used whole oats. They were slightly whole. I will say they are quick oats. They are slightly shredded. And I was giving this for someone. Yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.